Hi, Jackie Bailey here from the Speak Be Lead Project. Kids are back to school. Yay. I know parents are delighted and most of the kids I talk to are delighted about being back, being with their friends. However, the stories I'm hearing from them are that teachers are piling on the work, most as if they're making up for lost time last year because of the pandemic. And I'm hearing my students feeling the pinch. They're feeling the weight and the burden of all this added work. And what's happening then is parents are also stressed out and they're now trying to get back into some sort of routine. They're maybe going back to work and now they've got to try to rush home and be home for the kids and try to stay masked up and all of the regulations that we're living under puts so many added burdens on families and parents are stressed out too. So now we have parents stressed out, kids are stressed out, worried about whether they're gonna be able to keep up with their work. And I think a lot of times we as parents project our greatest fears and concerns onto our kids needlessly. And I'm wondering if that might be happening a little bit, adding to the idea that is put in our kids' minds that they are not capable, that they cannot handle hard things, that they might as well give up the things they love because they just can't do it. They just can't have it right now. It's just not possible because they're not capable of handling everything that they're given. And I wonder if that's actually a dangerous message to be given to our kids. I know that social anxiety disorders are real and they are very common in our society of go, 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 get, 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 and be, 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 here, 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 right? So you might think that social anxiety is triggered by things such as public speaking, reading in front of others, conversing with people that they are unfamiliar with, uh, having to be evaluated by people, fear of being embarrassed by what they say, and feeling really uncomfortable in those social, social situations. Those are all real triggers to that social anxiety that our kids can get, they can have, they can develop because of these stressful times of life. And you might think that the best way to combat those social anxiety fears is to completely avoid situations that give them those fears. That seems logical. However, SciCom posted an article not too long back that was talking specifically about social anxiety in our kids. And what they said in that article was that avoiding those types of triggers may be the least, the path of least resistance, but is really not the best thing for our kids giving them instead safe havens, comfortable places where they can practice those skills, gain confidence and feel like they're not gonna be ridiculed for any mistakes that they might make. That is the way to help them heal from social anxieties and get past that and overcome those fears. At the Speak Feed Lead Project, that is exactly what we're doing for these kids. We are providing all of that. We're providing them with conversation and communication skills. They learn exactly how to do that and they feel so confident talking to anybody after a first unit of our class. We also concentrate on helping them give feedback to others. So not only are they learning how to receive feedback based on principles of communication that they're learning, but they're also learning how to mentor others and give positive feedback to them so that they combat someone else's social fears. And it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I would really encourage you, highly encourage you to not avoid public speaking classes for your kids. And I'm not just saying that because I love your kids and wanna deal with them and see them and teach them, but because this is important for them. There is no better lifelong skill that your children will learn anywhere than public speaking. They don't teach it in school. They're not gonna learn it in scouts. They're not gonna learn it at dance class. They're not gonna learn it at church. It's just not gonna happen. And yet they need it so badly, especially now with the social anxieties that are all around them and because of the pandemic, everything is different, everything is new. 
I really encourage you to take a look at the courses that we have offered. Get your kids into these situations where they can gain confidence and combat these anxieties that they're surely going to come up against and let them know that they are fully capable, fully and completely capable of doing whatever they want, that they are capable of handling it all. They can be resilient. They can manage their time well. They can be successful at doing everything they want to do. I highly encourage that language as well when you're at home with your kids and try not to project your stress onto them. With that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend upcoming, and I hope to see you and your children soon in one of our classes. It's the best thing they can do. Have a great day.